I really hope you can find that pistol. Could you be a little bit more specific about where you dropped it? I'm pretty sure I dropped it when we made our escape. We were surrounded. I climbed up a large rock to hold him off. I also remember seeing a corpse out there as well. We never got a chance to check it out since we were too busy fighting for our lives. I realize this isn't the best explanation of things, but, but things were such a blur. I'll try my best to find it. Hey, no pressure. I'm just grateful you're willing to help me out. I better go start looking for it. Good luck. It, it. Looking for it. So I probably want to talk to... I wonder if this is an actual quest. I wonder... If, or marked. Yeah, it isn't an actual quest. It's unmarked. Um, so I probably want to go talk to Watkins. She doesn't need school. The principles of fusion are relatively simple. I... I wonder why she doesn't need school. Uh, still. She's down here. Hey, Watkins. Yeah? Initiate Stanton told me about your little adventure the other day. That was so much fun! It was so fun, I can't even explain it! When those scorpions came out, it was just like The Sims. All I had to do was line them up and squeeze the trigger. Don't tell him I told you this, but when those scorpions surrounded us, I'd bet a week's rations he'd pissed himself. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Tiger, do you know about this? Yes. What is it? Hmm. Goodbye. He doesn't know nothing. Well, I guess we're going to find that pistol. So I guess the reason why they called it a gulch is because, well, we need to come back over here in it. And there is a corpse right there. Was the corpse bef there before? Yes. Oh, there it is. Laser pistol. Hey. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. I did find it. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry on the whole matter. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time. I have some pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. A missing laser pistol has been removed, but I got a tri-beam laser rifle. And that's it. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Yeah, but you give me the, the things. I wonder how much... I wonder if uh, if the prices are good here. 50% or 51%. Huh. I'll see you later. Bye. I know where, where I can for sure get good prices. But first, we're going to Prim. Because I need to get myself some of Rose's casserole. Oh, she's over there. Rosie! I'm sorry, I'm not familiar enough to say Rosie. You know how it is. What is that? Why did you have a battery out here? Are you powering this with a battery? Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Absolutely. Uh, the Venom casserole thing. Does sound good, don't it? And then I can... Goodbye. Yeah, bye. How much did I just get of Ruby's casserole? Oh, it was there and I didn't see it. 26. 26 pounds of fresh, lovely casserole and radiation as well to be fair but we don't mind that now let's see if we do have uh good prices up here in the new vegas clinic uh because that is where i think we get the best prices at least so far hi you're back do you need medical attention 
No, I. it's the buying thing. Because you're a friend of the followers, I can give you a bit of a discount. I know, that's why I came over here. Only 1,200 though, so that's not very good. Uh, but we can compare. Yes. They pay full price. Well, thank you very much. Take care. Evening. Evening indeed. Yeah, we're going to need to sell more of this. Let's go to the gun runners. We need to go in there as well because we have the caravan thing. Hey. Welcome, sir or madam. So this is pretty good as well to sell, I suppose. We have 2,000 already. Yeah. Well, thank you very much then. Bye. Come back and see us again soon. I do need to come back over here. Eddie. Can you carry this for me, please? Yes, you can. I do need to go in there. It's that stealth mission. You can depend on me. Acquire the Gunrunners' manufacturing specification from their factory. That's going to be really easy, isn't it? It's going to be really easy. Mostly because... No, it isn't going to be easy. Who's detecting me? Everybody's detecting me. Um, Eddie. Give me... One of the stealth boys. Because I'm going to need to use one and I might need to use two. I really would like to not... To not have to use it before I get in. But it is... That is going to be a thing. So, stealth boy goes in. Hidden. And uh, let's get in to the gun runner's arsenal thing. It shouldn't be a pro ah! It shouldn't be a problem. We still only have 30 bobby pins. I think in Fallout 3 you accumulate hundreds of them. In this game, not so much. Okay, my karma is going down. But maybe it should be going up. I need to go in here. We're absolutely trespassing. And we have a quest marker in here. So I am going to continue sneaking. Just take a look-see. Some of these things. Say hi to the people. There's people working. It says caution. There's a gun runner terminal over here. Download manufacturing specifications. Processing complete. Vendotron naming. Seriously, can we stop calling the Vendotron a Vendotron? Let, let's give the thing a proper name, like Bob. We're not calling it Bob. We'll vote on it at the end of the week. Please, please, please come up with something decent. Missile launcher 7 for Camp Gamora. Camp Gamora? Wait, what? Camp McCarran. <laughs> Uh, missiles 200. We'd like this order expedited, if possible. The situation at the dam requires it. And persona non grata. One of the Crimson Caravan guards, identified as Robert Wilson, decided it would be funny to take a shot at our Vendotron. He's lucky he didn't get a 308 through his idiot skull. We're currently negotiating with McLafferty for reparations, but in the meantime, we need to update the Vendotron's recognition software to filter out all Crimson Caravan employees. We'll also need to pull some strings over at McCarran and get them temporarily barred from purchasing ammo there as well. Hmm. So, we got we got the thing that we came here for. There's just some people working. I can't... They, I think they're enemies. I'm not sure. No, they are definitely enemies. The... The quest marker is showing them as enemies. Could go and uh, look around a little bit. There's... Wow. Yeah, I'm out of here. That guy went and checked. Don't know how, but he did. Veronica? Aw. Let's go. Okay, so that's just an optional... Oh, now I'm going to be sort of invisible right now. Um, I can tell McLafferty that the Crimson Caravan now owns C Cassidy Caravans. But I also want to wanna get uh, Cass to join me. So, let's do that. So, hand the gun runner to the manufacturing specification over to Alice McLafferty. Convince Henry Jameson to quit his position at the Crimson Caravan Company. Uh, we could do that one as well, since we're here. But he, he's in the... 
He's in Freeside? Really? Okay, well, um, Veronica, do you... I didn't... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna. I just didn't sell that, you know. Uh, go... Uh, let's talk. What's up? Oh, we can ask her questions about... Um, about her mission. I wanted to talk about the technology we're looking for. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, I guess it is. There's no. Yeah, it's good. Okay, I won't. It's it's good. Um, it's time for us to part ways. Why does everyone always say that? It's fine. We'll meet at the Lucky Thirty Eight. That would be an interesting thing. Uh, yeah, Lucky Thirty Eight. Nice. Can I order room service? Feel free. So she's gone, and uh, excuse me, Mr. Bob. Uh, welcome, sir or madam. His name is not Bob. I am ready to. To be Bob, I need to just sell him the Brotherhood armor, but which is definitely a, a good decision. I don't know; they're the same, so we're good there. Uh, and then these things, uh, I'll hang on to them. How are they so cheap, even though they're supposed to be good? Hmm, I'm not so certain about that. Goodbye. Come back. Yes. So, invisible though I may be, let's have a chat with Cassidy. We also should uh, try to get Rex on our way north, since we're going to the Strip anyway. Cassidy. She's not there. She's over here. Hello. Hello. People all over. Hey, Cass. You come around like a bad habit. You always say that. Um, so I can ask her... You could come with me. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Uh, she, I think the last time I asked her that, she might have said that I have too many people on the on the team. Um, do you really want to stay in this shithole? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago, and that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Cass has given you the whiskey rose perk. And now, let's see what you have. She has seven pounds worth. What you got. That's what I said. She has a lot of stuff, actually. Or by a lot of stuff, I mean not really. Uh, we do want to talk to her as well. But she gave me a bad thing. So what exactly? I think it's um, that perk is if I'm drunk or something. Whiskey Rose. Let's see. While Cass is a companion, she and the player gain double threshold. Sorry, gain damage threshold when they drink whiskey. Additionally, the player does not suffer intelligence loss from consuming alcohol and ignores the negative effects of alcohol addiction. Um, doesn't mean that you're not addicted to alcohol, it just means that you ignore the effects. So, let's talk. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Where was your caravan hit? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell. Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. We're taking some whiskey then. How did you catch word of it? Caught word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. Think there's anything left? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least... I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. I keep forgetting that she lost her caravan. She keeps talking about losing her caravan, but she also lost the people in the caravan. And, uh, yeah, sort of now, only now really realizing that. Let's go then. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. It should... It is pretty good that, I, that I'm that i getting her right now, since I'm doing the... Well, finishing 
the Crimson Caravan quest right now. I wonder if she's going to have anything to say when we do that. I have other questions. Ask them then. Where do you get that? Where did you get that pendant? Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Her mom... We actually know her in default, like in, in, uh, in the original Fallout 2, not even in the restored content. There's a mission with Cassidy, unless I'm... No, 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 it's not... No, 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 her mother. Yeah, we never learned of her mother. And that would... Hmm. She was already born by the time Fallout 2 happened, right? I think so. I need to look at the times, though. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward to see where Fallout 2 happened. I think Fallout 2 happened... No, she, she must have been either born right after or... Or, um, or right before, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking of Vic's wife. Vic's wife is actually... Uh, a different character. Vic is a different character, obviously, but Vic's wife is... Um, you deal with her. Uh, funnily enough, in in, uh, in Vault City as well, because that's where her dad was. Your mother was a tribal. You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got him out west, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Lucky for you, that's one way to put it. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Hmm. I wonder how he died. I don't think she, ch she mentioned it yet, but Cassidy had a heart issue. You can actually heal... Well, you can't in the original game. You need to patch it with the unofficial patches and whatnot. But you can cure his heart condition. Uh, I'm not sure if it's cure... If curing is the right word, but there's some heart medicine that you can use uh, and give it to Cassidy. And also, if you give him a stim pack... Sorry, not a stim pack. If you give him a super stim pack, he dies because his heart gives out. Uh, and uh, that happened to me in the last Let's Play that I did of Fallout 2. And I honestly, I, I never heal my companions when I'm playing by myself because if they just start taking too much damage I just reload uh, but when I'm doing a let's play then uh, well it's, it's different and then I was trying to be all play the game normally and all and then he dies and I'm like well there goes Cassidy I don't remember exactly how the how the death animation was he might have just fallen over dead or he might have had that sound that just <laughs> I don't I can't imitate it well enough tell me about your dad not much to tell he ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Any idea why he went east? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Where'd you learn to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Nah, he wasn't that good. I mean, he's a pretty good shot, but he's just... He's average. It's, actually, now that I think about it, the best sniper in the... Uh, well, it's not really snipers. It's small arms. Uh, Perception-based companion. I think the best one is Skynet. Spoilers. Because uh, you're you're like, what? Skynet? If you've never played Fallout 2, you're, you're like, what, what, what do you mean? Um... Yeah, it's a reference, but um, I think I think it's Skynet. If you make Skynet as best as you can, I think I think she has twelve 
12 perception or something ridiculous like that, but even at the lower ones is like 9. And I think Cassidy has 8 perception and he's a long, long gun specialist. Um, or rather, not long guns, but small arms. Or small guns. Is it small guns? I think it is small guns in Fallout. Uh, but then again, most of your companions are small guns. The thing is, what happens in Fallout 2, though, is that certain characters... Uh, the last few times I played, you can just you can give them whatever weapon they uh, you want. I think, uh, but what happens is it's kind of an interesting thing. Certain uh, certain companions have specific um, animations and specific character part, uh, not character portraits, whatever you know. The sprites, the characters have only a certain amount of animations. So if you want to give like a bazooka to Sulik, for example, uh, actually a bazooka to Sulik, he probably no, he doesn't wear it because it's heavy, it's uh, big guns. But if you want to give a sniper. To Sulik, that probably wouldn't be an issue because Sulik has the sprite, I think has the uh, the normal tribal sprite, but Cassidy I think has a unique sprite, and so does Vic, and so what happens is because they need to animate every type of weapon, I don't think they have all the animations, so they are sort of limited to a certain uh, a certain type of, we of weapons. I think that's that's a limitation of the game that they sort of use to force you to give them the weapons that they prefer. You can actually ask them what they like. Uh, where did you learn how to handle dynamite? Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twister's out of the divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. Any other weapons you know how to use? What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. I've heard enough. Let's move on. All right, then. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. And whiskey, indeed. We have a mission to do. Hey, Eddie. I need to drink. But not whiskey. Hey. So, what? We chase that little cocksucker down or what? He's got to stop running sometime, and that's when we'll get him. I think she's talking about, um, uh, I don't, I forget his name, Benny? All right, then. Benny, I think? I think she has more questions that I can ask. So, you talked to a big movie screen. Feeling like I'm walking down a yellow brick road and there's bad news at the end. I think that's a reference to The Wizard of Oz. How do I know it's a reference to The Wizard of Oz? Because Harry actually told me in chat right now, and uh, I've never watched the movie. But it is. That's what it is. Uh, well, in the meantime, he's giving me a suit. Sorry. How is it pronounced? Sweet? I think it's sweet. At the Lucky 38. Does it come with its own death claw? Trust me. If you can't see it, something just as nasty is waiting. Whole Lucky 38. The idea that there's this casino in the middle of a town of people... And only your ever let inside feels like other places I've been. Something that isolated from everyday folks starts to take on a bad shine. Hmm. I had other questions. Ask them then. Well, let, I. Yes. Uh, you any good in a fight? I'm fair with chucking dynamite, not bad with a pistol, if I do say so myself. Carry a knife too, but that's more for practical reasons. Prefer settling things with my fists, though. Made more friends than corpses in bar fights. Plan on keeping it that way. Don't think I'm some kind of Vault City pacifist, though. If things get heated, I'll start shooting. Trust me. A Vault City pacifist? That is a portrayal of Vault City that I am not... fully on board with. Either... Wow. I, hmm. Either, I, I, I don't know what to say about that. Either Vault City changed, like, canonically, and, uh, which I, it, it could be, because the, it, in the time she grew up, maybe Vault City became a little bit of a pacifist sort of thing, which, uh, if uh, my options that I usually make in Fallout 2 had any effect, then they, it would sort of become that. But Vault City is not really a pacifist state. In fact, it's it's it it has uh, what it, I think it passes for apartheid, uh, although it's you know it's the, the 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 analogy has its limitations, um, but it's it's sort of it's supposed to be 
it's, I think the game tries to portray them as, as bigoted. And they are definitely bigoted against uh, against ghouls. There's the whole thing with a power plant. Uh, but more than anything, it's, it's a seclusive uh, community that very much fears the outsiders. Um, so, you know, the, the analogies are kind of complicated. But it's got freaking turrets on the outside. The moment you enter Vault City, there's super mini guns on top of the gates. And they will sh they shoot. They canonically shoot the, uh, the, uh, the raiders. There's, like, these bunch of mercenaries or something. I, I don't think they're called mercenaries. Uh, they're called something when you find them in the middle of the, of the mountains in Fallout 2. I'm talking about specifically about Fallout 2, obviously. Um... And that's the other questions that I missed. Is whiskey your drink of choice? Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago, and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west before I punched enough people, so now they say it. But quiet, and when I'm not around. Whiskey Rose. Yeah, on account of my name, and the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, it's the perk that she gives me. Where do you usually go to drink? There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. Wait, you can make moonshine? Yeah. What else are you going to do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. It's a recipe. So, maize, two mud fruits, yeast, and fission battery for the acid, I assume, potentially. Although, it's not a... Fission battery would be a solid-state battery. It wouldn't have acid. Yeah. It wouldn't have acid. It's just I think it's just supposed to be a joke. Uh, I had other questions. Ask him, then. Uh, how do you get started in the caravan business? Started? Took to it like a fish to water. Well, if you know what a fish is. I'm... F m f yes. Do you know what a fish is? Well, of course I do. It's this slimy, scaled thing. Like a lake lurk, except no legs. Well, most times. They're like birds, except they stay underwater. Anyway, I've seen pictures. One guy even had one above his bar in Redding, except it was made of pre-war plastic. He used to say it could sing, but I figured he was on a jet rush. Yeah I, yeah, I believe those things are a thing. Not actually sure which states uh, have the singing fish most prominently. Because that's a thing in America, apparently. So you just started in the caravan. Actually, it sort of fell on me. My feet get antsy if I stay in one place, like the Mojave Outpost. It was driving me crazy, that feeling of being trapped there. So thanks for that. So you traveled a lot? Yeah. West east and pass through places enough times people would sometimes pay me some caps to take something to the next town what like a courier well not as glamorous i guess roads back west were safer in most places most anyway occurred to me i could scratch the traveling itch and get paid for it cassidy caravans formed around me rest is history that's actually a huge achievement. That's a huge achievement, considering the... Uh, well, it's kind of complicated. In Fallout 1, there's only, like, three real caravan companies. And I don't think things got any more spread out in Fallout 2. In fact, there's there's a few caravans, but they're, they're sort of, like, either connected to mining or they're directly under the wing of each major faction. Hmm. Um, questions? Ask them, then. 